Hey, it's me, Adam. And uh, I've been working on some new impressions, and I was hoping that uh, I could do them for you. So, and you tell me if you like them or not. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> uh, hello, I'm Seth Rogen. Uh, you may know me from some of my movies, like uh, Knocked Up, or Pineapple Express, or Funny People, most recently. Uh, I like movies. I, um, I always liked watching movies as a kid, and, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's just weird that, uh, things happen the way they do. Uh, now I'm an actor, uh, I believe that, uh, I'll be in movies for a long time, because there's always going to be cussing in movies, and apparently no one likes to say these words, so they're just going to put me in the movies and say those words, but I don't care, because I'm just weird like that. You know, it's just weird, and everything's screwed up. You know, as Christopher Walken, sometimes things don't go the way they're planned. Like, for example, some movies that I've been in have been very good, and other times, other movies sucked really bad. I mean, they really bit the big one. Like, for example, when I was younger, my movies did really well because I was weird. I'm, st I'm, st I'm still weird, but I was really weird back then. For example, I was in Stephen King's The Dead Zone. It's, it's a weird movie, and they chose me because I'm weird looking. And now, they put me in movies like Balls of Fury. I, I don't know what I was thinking, really. It was just something that happens. That's all I have to really say, except more cowbell. I need more cowbell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jack Nicholson. Let me tell you today about the world. For, for example, I like the younger girls, and I like to drink. And when you combine both of those, it makes for a good time. Now, <coughs> I was told to come here today to do some lines for you or something like that. So here we go. You can't handle the truth. There are two kinds of angry people, explosive and implosive. Explosive is a customer yelling at the cashier for not taking the coupons. I am, you are the cashier who remains quiet day after day and finally shoots everyone in the store. Hello. You want to know how I got these scars, do you? I had a wife. She was beautiful, like you. Then, and she said I didn't smile enough. <laughs> well, I'll show her. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am not doing an invitation here. I'm just a random newsman. Today we will be doing the. Debate between Jack Nicholson and Arnold Schwarzenegger for Governor of California. Thank you. Alright, first our opening statements. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, Jack Nicholson, I'm tired of the condition that California has been run. My opponent has drained the Californian economy down the toilet. I believe if I am elected California governor, I can regain the money that was meant for California to have. I will rid California of forest fires. I will do that by, if you pay attention to my arguments today, you should know how I 
plan to do that. <coughs> and that is all. Hello, I'm Arnold. My opponent, Jack Nicholson. He's a bad man. He's been in movies too. But I've been bad because look at these molasses. He's old. I'm just 60. He's 70. There's a difference. My balls still stand. Cut that out. Anyway. I will get rid of forest fires. I agree with that. But uh, I don't know how I'll do it. Um, I don't know how I'll get the money back, but I'll get it back, I promise. Ugh. Okay. First question is it addressed to Mr. Jackson. Michael, no, not Michael Jackson. Jack Nicholson. Mr. Nicholson, if elected governor of California, how many times will you smoke? Will you make weed? You know, law. Let me tell you about weed. Weed is bad for you. For example, look at me. I have done weed in my past. We all have. But that is not the point. The point is that weed is bad and we cannot go on with our country selling weed. I believe that all weed should be burned. Not to get rid of it, but to dispose of the entirety. That made no sense, so I'm just going to go. Same question. Oh, it's worse than nigger. But it's on fire, God! Interesting. Next question to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Will you allow steroid use? I don't know. I used it when I was little. Little back in Austria. And now I come here with me big muscles. In what made me give my career. A Russian Jack Nicholson. I don't care about the steroids unless it's for my football, my basketball teams. Then I want them hyped up higher than Santa Claus on Christmas night. Then I don't care what they do. Alright. That is it in our debate. Votes are in for tomorrow.